Hello, John Clements. Welcome to the UMass Video Fruit Advisor. Today is Friday, September 4th, 2009. We're out in the UMass Cold Spring Orchard, and I want to show you two apples here that we're about ready to pick. Uh, the first one being an apple called Silken. You may not be too familiar with it. It's not readily available in the commercial nursery trade. But Silken is an apple that came out of the uh, British Columbia, Canada, Summerlin, British Columbia breeding program. Um, Silken was in the 1999 NE183 planting. If you're not familiar with it, NE183 is a, uh, a North American um, apple uh, evaluation project formed with university researchers and extension people. And um, Dr. Dwayne Green here at UMass was the first one to kind of say, well, Silken looks like a really nice apple. Um, it's a, a, obviously a yellow apple, um, rather translucent in, in appearance. It has a, a very nice, mild flavor, a, uh, a skin that is almost not noticeable, um, a, a mildly flavored, melting flesh, very good quality eating apple. Now, Silken is probably not a wholesale apple. It comes right in here during uh, uh, ginger gold season. Another yellow apple that's just about ripe, early yellow apple, is Golden Supreme. But I think Silken far outshines Golden Supreme. It, it ripens evenly. We don't have any pre-harvest drop on Silken. Um, again, I don't think it'll be a large wholesale apple, but for uh, pick your own or a farm stand looking for a real good high quality apple around this Labor Day period, I would recommend Silken. And I also quickly wanted to point out these are third leaf trees planted about three feet apart to a, a, a tall spindle system. And you can see they have quite a nice crop on them here in, in their third leaf. Silken has been productive annually, easy apple to grow. I will say that it uh, is not overly resistant to scab. It will get scab, needs to be uh, uh, sprayed for scab. So that's the first apple, uh, that's Silken, and uh, let's go look at our next apple now. The other apple I want to show you here are these Lindemack Macintosh. Lindemack is a, a very highly coloring red strain of, of Macintosh. I don't think it necessarily matures much earlier than Macintosh, but because it's so red early, you can certainly pick it um, on the early uh, harvest window of Macintosh. Now, Linda Mac is an international plant management introduction. Um, trees are available, available uh, through Summit Tree Sales and several nurseries. Um, it's been, these trees have been very productive for me. They're on M9 rootstock, planted four feet apart. And every year I, I pick a good solid bushel to bushel and a half of fruit off each of these trees. So um, at this planting space, say 4 by 12, you'd be looking at about eight, 900 bushels an acre. So it's been a really nice early coloring red Macintosh for me. It um, uh, frankly is, is one of the best early Macintosh I've seen. So that's Linda Mac. I should mention that Silken, you know, one, one other little issue is it does bruise fairly easily. It's a, um, a uh, uh, soft flesh, softer fleshed yellow apple and the bruises show, so you have to be careful about that. That's why I say it's not a wholesale apple. And you'll probably have to find a source of budwood to have the nurseries make the trees for you, uh, Silken because, again, um, it's a, a very niche variety and the nurseries aren't going to be producing it unless a lot of growers ask for it. So, John Clements for the UMass Fruit Advisor on this beautiful Friday afternoon. Have a nice Labor Day weekend, and I can tell you the apple harvest is really starting in earnest here now in Massachusetts. And uh, we're still picking peaches, too, some really nice peaches. Um, because of the weather, generally, you get this time of the year, and, and the fact you got apples and peaches, I call these the golden days and uh, of tree fruit, and that's truly what they are. So, John Clements, have a good harvest. We will talk to you again sometime soon.